Across the Canterbury and West Coast region, three rescue helicopters are on standby, ready for any event, big or small. Since 1989, the Westpac helicopter has been saving thousands of critically injured people around the country. And within the Canterbury branch is one woman paving the way for others in the field. Juliet is Christchurch Westpac helicopter's only woman crew member. She's new to the team, becoming a flying doctor at the start of this year. There's good people, good people on this job. Um, it's challenging, it's exciting, every day is really different. Um, it's sort of like a, a step along from my, my ambulance work, so it's taking that to a really different environment. You just never know which, on any given day where you might end up. Saving lives and rescuing the injured from any place at any time. The job is physically demanding. We have a, quite a rigorous fitness test that we have to redo every six months. Um, and there's specialist winch training and yeah, there's a lot of training that goes into it. Water-based water, water training, snow, bush, lots. And that's a great part of the job too. This is Juliet on her very first winch rescue this year. It can be physically demanding. The job does come with its highs and lows. When on duty, she's on call even at the small hours of the day. We go home at night time, we have cars to respond back to the, back to the hangar so they are fitted out so we can respond under lights and get here quickly. The Westpac helicopter is a fully equipped high intensive care unit in the sky, able to get to those hard to reach and isolated places, which means the flying doctors are also equipped to attend fires and search and rescue missions. Last year the Canterbury branch attended over 600 call outs and rescue missions. One of them here, at Coralin Station on the outskirts of Arthur's Pass. It all started with me feeding out and a bale of baleage came off the bale feeder and rolled onto me and rolled off again. Neil was stranded, crawling back to his tractor. He made contact with his daughter and wife who were at home. So we called uh, 111 and said we, at this stage we just thought he had just done a normal broken leg and um, we called 111, they said we'll send an ambulance up and when they found out how far it was, they said we think well, perhaps we'll have to send up the helicopter to come and get him. Here in Arthur's Pass it takes an ambulance around two hours to get here, but in severe cases like Neil, the Westpac helicopter can be here in just 20 minutes. With nine breaks in my leg, I felt every movement of the ambulance taking me from the, uh, the airport down to the hospital, so if I had to go from here to Christchurch in an ambulance, it would have probably taken a good hour and a half, two hours, and felt every bump on the road. Almost a year on from his rescue, Neil's slowly getting back into the running of their 2,400 hectare property. It's getting there, it's still got a wee way to go, but it's getting there, I'm, I'm doing what I should be doing. But it's, it's taken a little bit of time. But with Neil out on injury in the months following his accident, it was his wife who took over the reins. But the day-to-day -day running of the farm I did myself, um, yeah, and that was, that was just what we did, Yeah, that's what you do. Neil's injuries may not have been life-threatening, but that's not always the case for those being rescued by the Westpac helicopters. I reckon they're the unsung heroes of the country to be honest, without them I think there's a lot of people wouldn't be here today. And each of those call outs, either big or small, remains in the memories of those who attended them. Because I guess I haven't been on the on the chopper for that long, really only um, since the beginning of the year, that um, you know, I still remember a lot of my call outs and they've all, a lot of them have been new experiences for me.